what is going on? Today is Monday, April 25th, which may not mean much to a lot of you, but it is the day after one of South Florida's largest parties on the water, which is Boca Bash. So yesterday was Boca Bash, and we are on our way there to hopefully find some treasures. Boca Bash is this party that happens every year on the water at Lake Boca, and hundreds of boats go, there are thousands of people, and there are bound to be treasures that are lost, as well as a lot of trash. So we are hoping to find treasures, but we're also gonna pick up the trash that we find along the way. Now, today is a very windy day, so the ocean is rough, so we are taking the Intercoastal. We normally would have gone out of Hillsborough Inlet, but we are taking the Intercoastal, the six miles from Hillsborough Inlet to Boca Inlet, and Boca Lake is just inside of Boca Inlet, so that is where we are headed right now. So yesterday, Victor and I drove up to Boca to get some drone shots of the lake with all the boats there, so we can show you a difference of what the lake looked like yesterday compared to a normal day of what it usually looks like. All right, guys, so we just came through Camino Bridge, and now we are in Lake Boca. And the first thing that I am seeing, I mean, obviously, besides the fact that it's very windy, is there is a ton of seaweed. And if you guys know anything about seaweed, seaweed usually means sea lice and sea lice is like the most annoying thing ever so fingers crossed we don't get any sea lice today because we're definitely gonna be swimming in some seaweed i'm gonna put up our dive flag which seems kind of crazy because we're only in six feet of water right here but technically if you have a snorkel if you're breathing with a snorkel or like if you're on a scuba tank legally you need to have a dive flag. Victor I think is going to stay in the boat and I'm going to swim around and he's just going to follow me around so let's go see what we can find. It's a little chilly. The first item of trash. First, um, what are these things called? Electric cigarette, e-cig? E-cig. Vape. A vape, yes, that's the word. There's a lot of um, blue runners around, actually. Can I have um, the bag? Yes. Full of beer? Wow. We're drinking Modelo tonight. That's funny. We got an empty one and a full one. Oh my gosh, there's a friggin' octopus oh, in this one. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Wow, look at that. I didn't even notice that when I picked it up. He was like hiding at the top under the gold um, little thing. Last year you did Here, the same thing. Take Here, the full one. Take this. Look at that. He's in his own aquarium. Here, I'm gonna film him for a little bit. I didn't even notice when I picked it up. That is cool. Look, he wants to escape, Rook. Here, let me let him out. It's cool, but it's also sad that this is what he finds as his home, you know? So I'm obviously gonna take him out of this. Well, heck, I don't know how the heck I'm gonna get him out of here. I may not be able to. He's probably Hold the not bottle gonna... upside down and he'll wanna come out. You think? Yep. Oh, gosh, do I just let him go? Yeah. Go, oh, little guy. I just don't want someone else to pick this up, you know? I don't know what to do. If someone else picks this up and goes to throw it out, they may not notice him. Maybe you should put him in a bucket in the boat with some water 
and maybe he'll want to come out. Okay. This came right out into the bucket. Ooh. No more Medela for you, young man. Make a deposit, or is it not full yet? Uh, not yet. What? What about the octopus? You want to let him go? He came out. He's in the bucket. He's just chilling. What shall we name you? Does he have water? I think we should name him Modelo. Does he have water? Yes, he has water. <laughs> Freck thinks I would just leave him in a bucket with no water. How cruel, my little Modelo. We would never do that to you. That is a cool-looking animal, isn't it? Sunglasses. <laughs> um, it's a little beat up, huh? I think they're Oakley. The lenses are crazy nasty, though. Look at that. That's Oakley, right? Yep. Yep. I'm surprised you're not finding more, because even even though people pick up a lot, they don't usually get the scraggly ones. A lot, of, a beer lot of beer. Not a lot of bottles. A lot of cans. when I did this everyone told me to put everything in a bag so here you go <laughs> my first bag full of beer bottles getting a little heavy it's not light I'll tell you that oh it stinks this stuff smells Not scratched at all, are they? No, I don't. They look kind of cheap, but they kind of look like what I wear. <laughs> says she sees money so let's see how much she brings up here Did you get it it's only a dollar <laughs> hey a dollar is a dollar well it's only a dollar but it's better than nothing it's better than a beer bottle I'll tell you that <laughs> that's true We got a garbage bin, we got an octopus bin, and then we got the treasure bin. So everything we're gonna keep, sunglasses, dollars, stuff like that, we'll put in here. Hopefully this one's more full than this one, but I understand people wanna come out here and have a good time and pick up sunglasses, but it doesn't hurt to bring a few buckets out here with you and clean up some trash in the meantime. Okay, deposit number two. I see lots of trash. I have to get back to the rock. 
Okay, I know you don't want to be in my hand, buddy, but I promise you it's for your own good. There we go. So there's not many rocks around here, so I wanted to wait to find a rock to put him by, so now I'm gonna release him. Just like a squid will ink, he inked all in this bucket. The guy was probably terrified for his life. But we're just trying to do the right thing. Brick's finding him a nice rocky home instead of, you know, maybe someone else is gonna be out here cleaning up beer bottles and bring him home and throw him in the trash and he'll end up in a landfill. So at least this way, he'll have a nice new home. Brick's putting him in a rock as we speak. Embarrassing. 76. <laughs> 77. <sighs> While I take a little break because I am so cold, I'm going to mix up an element, which is today's video sponsor. So I will see you at the dock to tell you a little bit more about them. But I'm going to mix myself up one right now with the raspberry salt, my absolute favorite flavor. Get some electrolytes in and then go swimming again. So a huge thank you to Element for sponsoring this video. Element is an electrolyte drink mix that Victor and I have been implementing into our lives for the last four months now. Unfortunately, one of my biggest character flaws used to be that I never drank enough water, so I constantly was dehydrated and I always had headaches. So whether I am on the boat all day in the hot sun fishing or going diving, going to the gym, or even on a bike ride, Element has really helped me to stay hydrated and feel my best. Element contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, 60 milligrams of magnesium, and none of the junk. That means no sugar, no coloring, no artificial ingredients, no gluten, no fillers, no BS. So if you guys are interested in trying out Element, they are offering you guys a free sample pack. All you have to do is pay for the cost of shipping. Go to drinkelement.com dot com slash Brooke Chris or there will be a link in the video description. Now let's get back to finding treasure. All right, so Victor is now going to take a turn and he's gonna go in the water and hopefully he gets some treasures. Good luck. Thank you. This one's been here a long time. I'm mainly finding old trash. I'm not even finding like new beer bottles and stuff. There's so many old, old bottles with so much growth on them. It's crazy. Some big bottles in there too. is still pretty low and there's a guy who's probably like knee deep like in the middle who actually has a metal detector so he is definitely on to something i'm sure people probably lose earrings and rings and things like that there's actually three guys with metal detectors maybe i've never been here when it's been this shallow to notice these guys metal detecting because i can imagine it's probably hard to do where it's deeper but where it's shallow where they're knee deep it must be very simple to do there is a lot of boats out here i'm hoping everyone's cleaning up trash I know one guy dove past me, he wasn't picking up trash for sure. But, you know, at least some people cleaning up trash, that's pretty cool. The 
this boat right over here behind us just found a um, foldable table, which people probably brought out here to play beer pong on or something like that. But it looks like they're trying to decide whether or not they want to keep it. And if they throw it back in, I'm going to go get it. <laughs> but it looks like they're probably bringing it into the boat now. first cool sign of my dive, I got an anchor. Success! An anchor! No chain? Nothing? Nope, just the anchor. It's not in bad condition either. Wow. Got it. Oh my is gosh, there's one? an octopus in it. No way. Yep. Oh my gosh. Here. How cool is that? <laughs> All right. Nice treasure finally. Finally got a big treasure. Victor just got that anchor, didn't have any chain, no rope on it whatsoever, but there was an octopus on it. Jumped off as soon as I took it out of the water. I just overheard a boat saying that people started searching for stuff last night. That is dedication to the treasure game. Staying here overnight to start looking in the dark. That's pretty crazy. I'm not about doing that. So Victor just came in, he got a couple bagfuls of trash, that anchor and a bunch of e-cigarettes. Now it's my turn to get back in and let's see what we can find. I did find treasure, but I completely forgot. I found this at like the beginning of the dive. Looks like someone's ring. I mean- Obviously it's, it's a ring. <laughs> I, I mean, it could be expensive. I don't know. It looks cheap, but maybe it's just really tarnished from being in the salt water, but it almost looks like it could be someone's wedding band, doesn't it? I don't know. If it's tarnished, it's definitely not real, I don't think. I don't know. I think if it sits in salt water, whoever's ring it was I'm, is really small. I'm though. literally about to get in the water and Victor goes, because he's going through all his trash because we empty all the water and smush all the cans so it doesn't take as much space up in the buckets. He's like, oh yeah, and I forgot I found a ring. I go, what? I'm like, we're literally out here looking for treasure and you found the only treasure and you didn't say anything? I mean, yeah, it's probably not an expensive ring, but still, that's... I don't know how you saw that on the bottom because it is hard to notice things from from the surface that are that small. And I saw a bunch of cool fish. It's nice to see that even in all this trash and it's not really like a lively ecosystem, there's still life. Oh, and I saw a hermit crab that was way too big for a shell and he had like a, a stick he was holding onto and like I think he knew he was in danger if I was gonna grab him because he looked way too big for a shell. He needed to find a bigger one. Flipper. 
Oops. Wow, that's a good one, Brooke. Uh, what's up, Ozark? That's Ozark. Ozark? I think that's the Walmart brand. But still, it definitely was lost yesterday because it yep. looks very nice. Yep. Not a bad find at all. What the heck, a whole tequila bottle? <laughs> I just found a bracelet. You got one? Oh, no. no, it's rusty. <laughs> Too bad this thing wasn't full, huh? <sighs> Look, Let's get two tequila bracelets. too. Oops, I dropped the e-cigarette. Look, two bracelets. One, is that rusty or is it just that color? Um. No, I, I need, it's hard to tell. It's pretty cool. Some bling bling. Add it to the collection of treasure. Baby. Oh, two pairs. Two pairs of sunglasses. Did you find them right next to each other or something? Um, close to each other. Within a couple dives of each other. I just saw a big stingray. Those ones say piranha or something on them? Have you ever heard of that? No. Is that what it says, piranha? Yeah, piranha. <laughs> a what? A sauce. I don't know what she said. Sounded like you said sauce. <laughs> Slay queen. Slay queen. Is drown queen.
Oakley's. You know, I didn't find a single pair of sunglasses, and here you are with like your eighth pair. I know, this is a good spot, and there's a lot of beer bottles here, though. Find the beer bottles, find the sunglasses. I honestly feel like it's just an area that hasn't been cleaned out yet, because there's a lot of beer bottles, too. But another pair of Oakley's, they don't look too mm -hmm. bad, either. Nope. So three and a half hours of diving, picking up trash, and we did find some a few treasures here. We got basically three five gallon bucket fulls, full of beer bottles. Beer bottles, beer cans, and just whatever other random trash we found. Cinco de Mayo is coming up. Someone obviously was celebrating a little bit early. We got the Slay Queen sash. I feel like people usually wear these when they're at like a bachelorette party and everyone gets a little sash. The biggest bottle of the day is a very um, large bottle of tequila. Our nice, um, I believe, Ozark brand um, heavy duty cup. <laughs> Tumbler? Tumbler. We got our anchor. We don't use that style anchor for our boat, but we do have like a anchor graveyard, we call it at home, of all the anchors that we have found. Kind of use it as some decor. And then in case you ever find, lose your own anchor, you got some more spare ones. That probably is big enough to even use on this boat, so we could use that anchor. We used to use that, I believe that's called a fortress. Now we use a plow anchor. Here's my old dive mask. I don't... How does that work? Remove before use. Oh, I don't think gosh. anyone even used this, or they were wearing it with this thing that says lifeguard on it. Victor found a... This is the only um, lure, actually, we found of the day. This little tiny spinner bait, a little dog ball, it says fetch on it. <laughs> Two dead sand dollars, so they're not alive. Um, they're completely dead. When they're alive, believe me, you'll know they are black. So these are dead. And if you bleach them, put them in the sun, they'll turn completely white. Use them as home decor. Toothbrush. It's got a really long bristle head, doesn't it? Maybe it's not a toothbrush, and maybe you'd use it to like help clean the bottom of your boat or something. Yeah. I don't think it's an actual toothbrush. We'll go through the sunglasses next. So here is our worst pair. Definitely have been in the water for some time. They don't even have arms and they have growth on them. A cheap pair of sunglasses, probably could buy them at a gas station or something, but probably lost yesterday. They look pretty new. Piranha, I've never heard of that brand before. I'll have to look it up. Um, but these definitely were lost yesterday as well. They look nice. Two pairs of Oakleys. Um, this one, the lenses are peeling. Um, so that's pretty cheap. They had like an orange metallic metal on them and it's just completely peeling off. So if you ever have Oakleys or you want Oakleys, I would say don't buy the ones with that because it doesn't last. <laughs> So last year when I did this with the sunglasses I found, I found a pa pair of Ray-Bans and the lenses were completely ruined. And one of you guys, well actually a lot of you, commented down below saying that you can get replacement lenses for them. So I gave the sunglasses to my brother and I said, hey, supposedly you can get replacement um, lenses for your sunglasses. And he did and he wears them and they're like his favorite pair of sunglasses. So these, I guess if you wanted to buy replacement lenses for them, you could do that. They're the same style. Um, Holbrook? Holbrooks. And then the only pair that I would possibly wear, but I don't know. They are probably cheap as well, but they're kind of more my style. <laughs> and they were definitely lost yesterday as well because they look brand spanking new. Next up, jewelry. Victor's ring that he didn't talk about when he found it. It's definitely tarnished. It's also very small. I could probably only wear it on my pinky. I'd be afraid to put it on a different finger. So someone's small, you lost your ring, we found it. <laughs> but I don't think it's worth anything because if it was nice, it wouldn't have tarnished like that. I found both these bracelets pretty close together. 
This one I found when it was open like this, and at first I was like, oh, a pair of hoop earrings. And then I was like, oh, it's a bracelet. And it actually says stainless steel on it. Um, I recognize this. And anyone who also recognizes this, you're probably making fun of me for not knowing it. But I think this is actually, might be worth something. It's kind of small though. Oh, no, it fits. Ta-da, we got some bling. <laughs> I'm not the biggest jewelry person, <laughs> but I um, recognize some of my friends for even wearing something similar to this. And then this, this is broken and it's rusty, but I've also seen this before as well. These little hands. And then the next thing is the e-cigarettes. Is e There's definitely more in here. I probably just like got thrown into the buckets, but the majority of them we tried to collect into the little treasure compartment, but I know I found more of these. I personally don't really know anything about e-cigarettes. I'm assuming they're not reusable and that's why everyone throws them overboard after they use them. I know there was one that I think was reusable. Yeah, this one has a charger. Last year, I remember everyone was making fun of me or not making fun of me, but everyone was like mad at me last year for not wearing gloves because obviously a lot of people have touched these, but the way I think about it is they've been in salt water for a while, so it washed off all the germs. Am I allowed to think like that? Because that's the way I think. <laughs> oh, and I almost forgot my dollar bill. Nice and dried out now. Nice, crisp, clean, $1 can buy uh, some, scratch off ticket. something real special with this bad boy. Oh, a scratch off ticket. I should buy a scratch off ticket. A $1 scratch off. Maybe it'll be really lucky. Some good karma. Kind of feels like karma almost to pick up some trash and then be re rewarded with a pair of sunglasses. <laughs> hey, hi, hi, hi. Subscribe. Awesome guys. Subscribe. Awesome guys. I see you guys all the time. Good stuff. Amazing yeah. recipes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I swear, I love your recipes. But now it is the incoming tide that I wish we had earlier today. And the water is so crystal clear blue. It's like Bahamas water. Victor just put the drone up. You guys are seeing it now. It's beautiful. This is the clearest I've ever seen Lake Boca. I mean, honestly, it looks like the Bahamas. The difference in the amount of boats of today versus yesterday. I, I think you guys will really be able to tell with the drone. It's incredible. You know, there's probably a couple dozen boats out here. Well, maybe not even that, maybe. Maybe tops a couple dozen boats where it's only a Monday. So I'm assuming a lot of people are out here because they wanted to see if they could find anything from yesterday because normally on just a regular weekday, I don't think there's as many people here, but the difference of yesterday compared to today, you can see why there was so much trash. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we are headed back home with a lot of trash and a few treasures. We had a lot of fun. It actually took us a lot longer to get the amount of stuff we did today as we have in the past. I don't know if it's because there wasn't as much trash or if it's because we went later in the day than what we usually do. I didn't even put any sunblock on today and let me tell you, my back is completely fried. <laughs> you got anything to say, Vic? My favorite part of the day was the octopus. We saw two octopus, which I think were so cool. I like seeing that even in like a little urban environment and the fact that there's so much trash in there life can still thrive and you know we saw puffer fish stingrays all sorts of fish i saw an angel fish you saw an angel fish there was just oh. a lot of life in there sorry to disturb you i found so victor goes did you see any cool fish i saw one fish i have no idea what he was he had these weird little legs sticking out and when i got close to him he like stuck out his side fins and they were kind of like an orange rainbow going on. I definitely gotta do some research to figure out what kind of fish that was, but he was really cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you would like to see more types of videos like this. Maybe we can try going to some other places. I think I said that last time. So really let me know what you guys think. It was a lot of fun, you know? Seems weird having fun cleaning up other people's trash, but it was a good thing to do, you know? Getting all of those bottles and cans out of the water in a small area. As you saw, like Victor was saying, there's a lot of life there, so I'm glad we did what we did, even if we didn't become millionaires doing it. Well, again, if you guys are interested in trying out Element, I highly recommend it. We absolutely love it. Go to drinkelement.com slash brookchris. I will have a link in the description. You guys can go straight there. You guys can try out your free sample pack. All you gotta do is cover the $5 shipping. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.